Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have a what sold on Saturday and Sunday video for you guys. Thanks for being here, thanks for watching. I'm gonna share with you my Bolo items, items you should be on the lookout for when you're out at garage sales, thrift stores, estate sales, wherever. These are items that you can find and sell for money. So um, we're gonna get started. Uh, typically, most of my sales happen on eBay and Mercari and Poshmark trinkle in. Well, this weekend, Poshmark was given eBay a run for its money. Is that the right quote? Run for its money? <laughs> Sounds kind of funny. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. I'm going to start with the two items that I sold on Mercari. Um, I have one, uh, well, these toys, and I sold these together. And you push this little button. You're beautiful. And they light up. Now, um, I probably should do a little video. Oh, for my reseller testing products because I never did that with these. Um, and these would be a great item. So these sold on Mercari for $24 free shipping. And I picked those up at a garage sale for like a buck or two. Now the next item I sold was a retail arbitrage from a website online and it was called David's Bridal. Would I do this again? No, absolutely not. You guys have heard me talk about it in the other videos, but the items are selling, I am making money but the items are long tail and they were kind of a pain to list because I had to dress the mannequin and the dress. And anyway, it is a dress. Um, these are bridesmaid dresses, but they can be used for um, homecoming and prom. I do see a little bit of a spike in sales during prom and homecoming season. Um, but you guys know how it's been the last year and a half. Uh, so not a whole lot of prom and homecoming, homecoming going on. So, yeah, I just want them gone. So if anybody needs a dress, I've got regular sizes and plus sizes. So my link's down below if you guys want to check it out. Um, all right. The next item I sold is this little charm. And I have sold quite a few of these. These came out of my Dibble box from Donatella Bottolino. And the brand is Waxing Poetic. And it's just a little charm. And it's um, it's an it's an S, I do believe. This one, I was like, is that an S? Um, but I have sold, I think I only have two left. And that Dibble Box was amazing. If you guys missed it, go over to my main Bolo Buddies YouTube channel and put in Dibble Box, search Dibble Box. It was a YouTube auction and I bid on it up to $110. And it was a super score. So go check out what I got. But that was one of the items. So this ended up selling on eBay for $15.60. It is sterling silver or 925. Is that the same as sterling silver? It's marked 925. And the buyer was all in for $21. The next item I sold is this Lane Bryant tank. This again was a retail arbitrage from the Lane Bryant website. So what I do is I will go and I will search for coupons and I will wait for sales and then I will put things in my cart and use the coupon. Sometimes the coupon works, sometimes it doesn't. It just depends on what type of sale it is. It's tough. It, it's hard to do. Um, you have to be patient. Do I do it anymore? No way. I just went through a small phase where I was doing it and I bought a bunch of multi-quantity items and I'm still moving them. This is just a Lane Bryant embellished tank. It's super cute. It's a size 26, 28. I do believe I have two of these left in my store. It retails for $49.95. So these came directly from the website. So there's no black lines through the tags or anything like that. It's just like if you were to order it from the store directly. I had about $3.22 in this. It sold for $12. The buyer was all in for $18.40. Now, you guys know I sell a lot of Cacique brawls. I had somebody purchase four, same buyer, bought four of these Balconet Cacique brawls. Again, if you're new to my channel, if the tag is marked through like this, that is completely fine. People will still buy them. Please just disclose it in the um, description of your video or description of your video, the description of your listing. I just put interlabel label is marked through to prevent store returns because 
somebody can go and if they buy an item that's new with tags at a discount store, they may try to return it to the regular store and that line being marked through it is going to prevent that from happening. Now, these four items came from, um, I bought a wholesale lot from Facebook Marketplace. Um, I just happened to see it in one of the selling walls and I can't remember if I bought like two or 300. Uh, it was a great deal. I ended up having about $5 in each one. So I've got about $22 in those. Um, because yeah, I think there was tax. So maybe a little bit more. And they were the buyer was all in on those for $76.22. So, um, oh, I forgot to pull an item. And it's a good one. Oh, that's a bummer. How did I do that? Let me see if I can pull it up on my phone and show you guys. I'm sure that I can because it is so cute. And it's a good one to know about. So let me pull it up here and see if I can show you guys. Uh, this sold for $23. I paid $3 for it at a thrift star store. The buyer was all in for $31.38. So it's a Charming Tales. And I can't believe I didn't pull it out. It's so cute. It's just a little figurine. So $23 plus shipping is what that sold for. And it's a little mouse. And I bought a bunch of these at the thrift store. And they're actually selling quite well. So definitely something to be on the lookout for. And I just saw something else I forgot to pull. I should have done uh, looked through again, but I'll just show you this one on my phone. Also, uh, this is a Care Bears costume, and this also came from a garage sale. I believe I paid a dollar for this. Now, this I bought a while ago, and it is super, super cute. Now, the problem is I would have asked more for it, but it had like, um, you can see here, a little stain. So whenever there's stains or marks, I just point to them like that with my finger. That way I am disclosing that there is an issue. But look at how cute this is. I thought this was going to sell really quick. I don't know if the stains were keeping people from buying it or, or not. But And it is, it fits a one to two year old. So I don't know, at one to two years old, it's probably the parent that's into Care Bears and not the kid because the kid really doesn't. Maybe a two-year-old would. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, I ended up taking a best offer of $16. The buyer was all in for $25.58. My favorite sale of the video I'm about to show you. Okay, so I picked up a bunch of rubber stamps at um, the thrift store. And I'm kind of kicking myself because I bought two of the bags and I left one or two behind. And I don't know why I did that. I should have bought them. They were a great price, but I did. I just left them there. And now I'm like, what was I thinking? Like, I didn't look at the ones. I, I don't know. Anyway, I saw this one when I was actually opened the bag and looked and I saw these cats and I'm like, those cats are a bolo. I just remembered it from like a video I had done, or I don't know why, but I remembered the cats. And I was like, I got a little bit excited, but I was like, that's the cats, right? And I'm like, is it? You know, you start questioning yourself. So I looked it up. The brand is Rubber Stampede. And it is a, I believe it's vintage from the 90s. Yeah. And BK or, or B Kleiben, I think is what it is. K-L-I-B-A-N. So I looked that up. And the cats popped up. Okay. You guys want to know what I sold this stamp for? You ready for this? Let me get you the exact total here. This stamp fo sold for a, uh, I had it on sale for $46.80. $46.80. And the buyer was all in for $55.63. What? That is crazy. That's crazy. So this is my favorite bolo. And to kick it all off, it's been used. Didn't matter. It's not perfect. Look, you can see there's ink on the wood. 
did not matter. Now, I will say because it says San Francisco, I thought it was going to be a little bit harder to sell, but I also knew that it was more rare, so I did price it higher. Um, should I have done an auction on this? I don't know, maybe, but I'm very happy. So I had probably a less than a dollar. I know I had less than a dollar in that. So that was my exciting below. Okay. Um, what's the next thing here? I can't read it. What on? Oh, ballerina. I'm like, what does that say? I can't read my writing. Okay. So this came out of another Dibble box that I bought from Donatella Bottolino. It was a $100 mystery box. Now, this is not one that I bid on at auction. This was just a mystery box. I said, hey, Donna, send me a $100 mystery box. This is a keychain. It's a ballerina keychain. And super cute. New in the box. New old stock. And I sold that for... $11.70. The buyer was all in for $17.81. Now here is another fun bolo. This is a play school dollhouse bolo. Okay. So it's a picture of the, of the family. Aren't they cute? They are so cute. Can you see them? Let's see if I can... Yeah, so they're just little pictures that you put in the dollhouse. <laughs> they're so fun. I probably have a quarter or less in these. I sold them for $11.70. The buyer was all in for $17.16. I pick these things up anywhere I see them. Garage sales, estate sales, thrift stores. It doesn't matter. You name it, I pick it up. Um, the next item I sold is this perfume. And it's really a neat box. So it's a box. But when you open it, it's like, isn't this cool? But it's just the container for the box. And there's the perfume. So it's called About a Girl. Rue 21 or R-U-E Rue 21, I think it's what it's called. Um, I had a dollar for it at a thrift store and I sold it for $13. The buyer was all in for $21.82. That does have to ship ground. So shipping is a little higher. The next item I sold, and I was so happy to see this go, um, are these, uh, I don't know how to say, Adrian Vit Vitadani or something. I don't know. That's what it looks like right here, this tag. I I wouldn't source for this. <laughs> these have been long tail. I bought a bunch of them. No, I wouldn't source for these. So don't worry about the name. But they sold, and I did make a profit. So I... I don't know. I thought maybe the print would be fun. Somebody might need the print. Uh, I paid $3 for them. They sold for 12, took forever to sell. And the buyer was all in for $19.95. So would I recommend those? No, I would not. Uh, okay. I sold this. I'm so disappointed that, um, that Care Bear outfit and that little figurine. I really wanted to show you guys that. Okay. You guys know about my Simpsons and this is really dusty. Um, it's been sitting in the bag, so I must have put it in the bag, Dusty. All right, so I think I took the batteries out, so this will not work. But there are little connectors, and then there are connectors on the feet. And if you put them on, they talk, okay? Now, and then I also have the little accessories that go with it. If you would like to see how these work, because these are most definitely Bolo, you can go to my reseller testing products. If you type that into YouTube, it should pull it up um, channel. And I have a whole bunch of these where I show how they work. Uh, I bought two, two, I think it was two boxes full of tote in a box at a thrift store. And I paid $10 for all of it. And if you guys um, watch my main Bolo Buddies channel, you've heard this story before, but um, it's been a while since I told it. So I bought all of those at the thrift store and I brought them home and it was the play sets and the figures. And I was like, I'm just going to redonate the play sets and I'm going to list all these people together. And my husband was like, why would you do that? And I'm like, I don't want to figure out which figure goes with which playset. That is just too much work for me. I'm not doing it. And he's like, I'll do it for you. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, okay. So he went through and figured out which people went with which playset. He sat them all on the freezer for me. I have a big deep freezer. 
that I sit stuff on when I list. And he had them all sorted out. And all I had to do, I shouldn't say all I had to do, it was a lot of work because there were a bunch, but I had to put the figures and take the pictures and figure out which place that it was. But it was awesome. And I, I was pretty excited. And he was absolutely right. I made probably, oh man, I made a lot more because of it because um, I mean, I, I've done really well with those. So um, I've had many people say, those Simpsons, they just keep selling. And I'm like, I know they have been like amazing. And I had no idea when I bought it. I just thought they were cool. Okay. The next item I sold is this Tyco puppy, puppy, puppies. Let me show you the tag. These are a Bolo item. I sold a kitty, kitty, kitties for like, I think 70 or 80 bucks. This is the dog. And I don't know if they have like something in them. I, I don't know. Cause it sounds, but anyway, I got this. It was either 50 cents or a quarter at a garage sale. And I got a whole bunch of them. I got it at the same place that I got the kitty, 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 kitties. But I got one kitty, kitty, kitties. And I think three or four of the puppy, puppy, puppies. And I'm like, why couldn't they have all been kitty, kitty, kitties? This sold for 30 bucks. I'm not complaining. Uh, 50 cents into $30. Very, very happy with that. So this is what it looks like. It's just a little plush, but these are collectible. Um, buyer was all in for $37.40. Okay, this next item's really cool. Also, it is called a Lou La doll. And it is a doll that a baby sleeps with. And it has like a, a heartbeat sound. And I can't remember... I, I can't remember if I took the batteries out or left them in. I might have taken the batteries out because it's not working and it works. Let me see if I can. I did run this. I got it at a thrift store and it was um, $5 and I just sold it for $30. The buyer was all in for $36.50. Yeah, I, I, I don't know, but it's not... Am I doing something wrong? I can't remember how it works. I thought you just pushed the button and then it, it sounds like a heartbeat. Um, I probably took the batteries out. I typically will take the batteries out just, and I don't have the listing pulled up to check. So, but anyway, this is what it looks like. These are a Bolo. They are still sold today. Um, the batteries in here, but you can just run these through the wash. And I decided with everything going on with COVID and everything that I would just run it through the wash because I did not know who had it before and how long, how many people touched it at the thrift store. And so just to be safe, I ran it through the wash and the dryer. So it is good and clean and ready to go. I do believe that it was um, never used because it was in this little container with the original tag, but like I said, it might have been like messed with at the store. So just better safe, better safe. All right, the next item. Those were my eBay sales. Okay, so let's look at Poshmark. I sold this express skirt. I paid around $3 for it. It's really cute. I have a bunch of express skirts. So if you like the express brand, definitely check out my store. Down below is a link with the um, in the description of the video to my Poshmark closet. Um, but these items are also listed in my eBay store. This sold for $19. And on Poshmark, the buyer pays shipping unless I send them like a shipping discount. So uh, the next item that sold is another item that I forgot to grab. It's just an express men's button front shirt. It is new with tags. I had about $3 in it and I sold it for 15. So after Posh took theirs, my profit was 12. So I'll take my fees or what I paid for the item out of that. I also sold this. I do have some hard goods guys. So I don't want to lose my people that uh, don't like clothes because there are some clothes on Poshmark after all. Um, Poshmark is more known for clothing, but I sell a ton of hard goods over there. So um, this is just like a holy sweatshirt. Yes, this is how it is made. It's new with tags 
and I paid about $3 for this and I sold it for $15. The next item I sold, this is a bolo, is this Briar Horse. And it is Horse of the Year from 2014. And this sold for, are you ready? $80. $80. I got it at a garage sale for two. So you can have big money toys that sell on Poshmark. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Uh, Lane Bryant jeans. I sold these cropped Lane Bryant jeans and they sold for $18. Again, the tag is marked through. Not a big deal. Just disclose it. I've got about $3 in these and um, yeah. What's next here? We have a bra <laughs> and it sold for $25 and um, my cut of that was 20 and I had about three in it. So this is a Victoria's Secret bra and the actual tag that says Victoria's Secret has been cut off. So I just disclosed that, but you can see it's got the, um, it is marked through, but it's got the size and on the back, this is the number, like all the Victoria's Secret bras have a number and that's its number. And it's a really cute, kind of fancy bra. Um, yeah, so 25 bucks for that. And I paid three. Now, this is cool. I sold a Thomas the Train bundle. And when I say bundle, it was three different listings that the buyer put into their cart, I guess we'll call it. And they bundled the items and sent me an offer. They offered me $40 for these trains. This one is kind of different. It goes like that. And then it'll pull, it'll drive and pull this in. So I had two of those. That was one listing. This train was individually by itself. And they are magnetic. And then I had another lot that was from um, Sodor. Uh, it's the playset Sodor. And they all say Sodor on them. So they're a little bit more specialized. Um, so this one's kind of cool. It opens like that. And that moves inside of it. So I sold all of these trains for $40. And I pick trains up thrift stores, garage sales, you name it, I pick them up. I do look them up individually because I have sold some individual trains for really good money. So um, if they don't sell for $10 or more, I will put them in small lots. What else did I sell? I sold this Catherine's Brawl. Catherine's is another brand that is plus size. So again, you will see it is marked through and I just include that in the listing. No big deal. This one is with tags. I paid $5.35 at a discount store. It sold for $20 um, and the buyer paid the shipping on that. What is that? Oh, okay. So the next thing I sold is this frame. And this came out of a mystery box and it is House of Lloyd and it's just a frame, me and Santa. So you're, if you have a kid and your kid's sitting on Santa's lap, this would be the place that you would put that picture. <laughs> I don't know. It's a frame and it says Santa and me. I guess you could be anybody sitting on Santa's lap, but typically kids sit on Santa's lap, right? So that came out of a mystery box. I sold that for $17. Now this blouse I got from an Instagram. I won, um, it was a giveaway on Instagram and I got this blouse free. It's really cute. It's got this open tie back, super kind of like apron-y print. It's just cute. Um, that sold for $15. So zero into 15. I'll take those margins. I did sell another Catherine's brawl. This one sold for 20. And again, same thing. New with tags, marked through. Good to go. Uh, these were super, super stale. 
I mean, I've had these forever. They are a cropped jogger men's pants. They're, the brand is just an off-brand red rhino. I paid $3 for these. Um, and again, it's the jogger style. And I sold them for $15. And I was happy to see them go. That was another item that I bought multi-quantity of. And that was my last pair to sell. I have sold probably five to seven pairs of those in the past. This often toss cami bra. Paid about $3 for it. I bought tons and tons and tons of these. Multi-quantity. I have um, brawls. These are in UK sizes for the plus size ones. Um, so you have to use the conversion chart. I think that is what has hurt me with selling these. These, um, if they're not plus size, they're the same. But uh, I have sold a ton. But I think I could have sold them quicker and for more money if they would have been in USA sizes as opposed to um, the UK sizes. Because I think people get nervous about using a conversion chart. I sold another Victoria's Secret bra. This one has, it's sealed, and I, a heat seal. I forget what it's called. Um, I think it's called like a heat seal. They put this over it and then they heat it up and it covers the Victoria's Secret. So this is for the items that um, don't have a tag. They are on the actual material. So that covers it up. Uh, this one sold for $21. Again, I just disclose it and take a picture. And the next item I sold are these magnetic bracelets. So they're really nice because you can put it on yourself. And I sold a lot of two. And they're, you know what I'm saying? Like that's one thing that stinks about some bracelets is they're so hard to get on. So these are really cute if you like um, some bling. And I sold these for $12 on Poshmark. And I think these came out of my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. So uh, I have so much jewelry I still need to list. But I'm happy to see those go. And these have not been paid for yet. Um, I think they sold for 10 or 12. I can't remember. But they are vintage Hanes pantyhose. This has been a very long tail item, but I will tell you, look up pantyhose if you see them, because some of them are, I guess we'll call it collectible. People have pantyhose that they like and want. Uh, this one, not so popular, but there are some that are. So definitely look them up if you find them. Um, I was happy to see those go. I bought a whole bunch. Actually, I should say my husband bought a whole bunch of those. He messaged me. He's like, I think I remember you telling me about pantyhose. There's a whole bunch at this estate sale. Do you want me to buy them? And he brought them home. And I think that might be my last pair. Um, for some reason, that pair just did not move. Some of the other Hanes moved quicker, but they are a great bread and butter item, typically, especially if they're new old stock. And some of them can be big money. So just look them up. All right, you guys, I think that's it. So those last ones were Poshmark from the express skirt on. So it was pretty, pretty close race between Posh and eBay this time. So that's pretty exciting. Again, I really need to focus on getting new items cross posted because I have been a major slacker. I need to get over and use my list perfectly because, um, yeah, I need to take some time to do that because like right now, I am usually, I list during the day onto eBay and then at night I cross post while I watch YouTube or while I watch TV or whatever. I, I have something on in the background and, you know, I just cross post. It's super easy. Um, but I've been doing videos for you guys <laughs> and I have been slacking on cross posting and I can't imagine what my sales would be like if I was actually getting new stuff up. These were all old items that have been listed for quite a while. So um, really happy about it. Really happy to move some of these clothing items. You guys know that I'm trying to move away from clothing and get completely full on into hard goods. So um, yeah, it's going well. It's going well. So I'm super excited about that. All right, you guys, I appreciate you. Thanks for being here. Again, go down in the description and check out that list perfectly video if you're interested in learning about getting on other platforms and cross posting because it's going to save you time. And what I say is time is money. And um, what I also, one other benefit of um, 
cross posting is something could be sitting on eBay for a year and you could put it on Mercari or Poshmark and it could sell right away. And the reason I say that happens is, is because Mercari and Poshmark, they have different buyers than eBay, just like you. Okay. Think about yourself. Where do you shop? I shop on eBay because I sell on eBay. Now I started selling on Mercari. What did I do? I started buying on Mercari. Same with Poshmark. Um, I actually really like buying on Mercari. Um, but yeah, I, so I feel like people that like to shop on those platforms, they don't go to the other platforms to find the best deal. They just find the best deal on the platform they like. And also on Mercari and Poshmark, your money sits until you take it out. So a lot of people just sell their personal items so that they have money that they can spend on that platform. So um, another good thing about having your items cross posted is if eBay glitches, you have your items backed up and you can just cross post them back to eBay because eBay has had some glitches in the past. Let's just admit it. Uh, um, but you know, those are just a couple of things that other reasons why I like cross posting other than I like having sales on multiple platforms. Now, I will say that I have items on Grailed and I have items on Etsy. Grailed. I'm not super excited about Grailed. Um, I don't know why, but I'm not. Uh, I have listed and I have probably 20 or 30 things over there, mostly like men's vintage clothing and hats I put over there, but I haven't listed anything lately. It's just not as comfortable and familiar to me. I think that's the problem. Etsy. I do like Etsy, but even with um, using List Perfectly, I still feel like it's a little foreign to me. Like it's a little bit harder. I don't know why. Um, it's just not as comfortable. Like Mercari and Poshmark are just easy. Let's put it like that. Etsy's kind of like eBay. It's got more item specifics, like what year, um, I don't know, just stuff like that. Stuff that I don't like to fill out. So I've got, I think 120 items on Etsy. That's it. Um, I do like the platform, but I need to get more items over there. So at this point in time, I'm just rambling about where I cross post to. I don't know why. Uh, Facebook Marketplace. I did dabble in Facebook Marketplace and I made one sale and I think I have like seven things listed still. I don't know. I just, I can't get into it. I just can't. And you know, maybe I don't need to, maybe I should just stick with eBay, Poshmark and Mercari and a little bit of Etsy because I'm doing fine with that. And I'm actually having trouble keeping up, getting all of my eBay stuff over there right now. So, um, yeah, yeah, but there are definitely perks and benefits to being on multiple platforms. I will say that. So, let me know if you have any questions. You can put your questions in the comments or again, uh, feel free to reach out to me on Facebook. Uh, there's a link down in the description to my Facebook group. Bolo Buddies, I'm on I'm Bolo Buddies on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, just Bolo Buddies. That's that's me. Um, and again, if you want to try list perfectly, referral coupon code Bolo Buddies, one word will get you 30% off your first month. You can cancel, I think, within a certain time frame. And I don't know. You can read all the fine print, but you can cancel. I think there's like a three day trial period or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> I've never quit. I'm never quitting. Never. I love it. It's the best thing ever um, that I have done for my business as far as time management. It's the best thing ever. So, all right, you guys, thanks for being here. Let me know what your favorite item was. And if you made it through the rambling, comment below. I made it through the rambling. Thanks for watching.